before we actually go on to this we must know whether the women of France actually had a revolution. You see the women had been active participants in the French revolution and they worked hard to achieve the desired goals. The women of the third state in France led a very difficult life. They earned their living by working as semestresses as working as maids, they sold flowers, worked as laundresses. They had no formal education, that is they never went to school. It was only the rich, the elite section of the society wherein the girls got education. As they led a very difficult life, they started forming clubs for themselves, political clubs for women. And the society of revolution and republican women were two such clubs which were formed by the women. Now the women faced disappointments most of the time with the various governments that came in France. The constitution of 1791 was the biggest blow to them, it disappointed them highly because it began with the declaration of the rights of man and citizen and not with man and women and citizen. Then the revolutionary government in the beginning of course tried to make them comfortable. It made schooling for girls compulsory and the fathers could not marry the girls forcibly with somebody, divorce was made legal and jobs were open for women in all the fields. In the reign of terror again the women had to suffer because all the political clubs of the women were shut down. Now there was a long fight that the women actually fought in France which was much longer than what the men fought in France to gain their political rights. Sadly it was only in the year 1946 that is one year before we became independent that the women of France got the right to vote. Such was the long struggle for the survival of the French woman of actually getting the voting right from the government of France. And I continue with the chapter in the next clipping.